Okay, you will be receiving a Petri dish. It's broken up into four sections. That in there is Jello. Before you do anything, keep the lid on and flip it upside down. And let's label the wells. Okay, so this first quadrant will be the control. So I'll put a C for control. This quadrant right here will be my fresh pineapple. I'll put F there. This quadrant will be my canned. So I'll put an N. And my meat tenderizer is going to be right here. So I'm going to put a T. All right, so I'll put my control, which is nothing. I'll put my fresh fruit juice here. I'll put my canned fruit juice here and my fruit tenderizer solution here. I'm going to carefully take my time on this. I'm gonna write my group names right here. Like so. Then I need a place to put my meat tenderizer, my fresh fruit juice and my canned fruit juice. So I need to create a well in each of these. To do that, I'm going to core it out with the straw. So the best way to do this is to pinch in on the straw Get a hole like that and try to suck it out by releasing it like that. It did not come out, so I'm going to get my core out with my toothpick. Like that. I'm going to reinforce the hole just by going around like that. Okay, so you're going to do that for each of these four wells. You're going to pinch, you're going to core. You're hopefully going to suck the sample out when you remove the straw. Sometimes it works, usually it doesn't. So I'm going to use various tools to get this core out. There we go. All right, so I'll do that for the remaining. So I have four holes on here. Before I um, put my solutions in, I wanna make sure I take the measurement for the diameter of the largest part of my core sample. So I'm going to use this ruler. Don't use the inches side, use the smaller centimeter side, and it's going to be in millimeters. Well, you could say, can't we just take the millimeter of the opening of the straw? The answer is yes. In this case, it's about five millimeters. You see that. But if you made a mistake and made it larger on accident, then just simply hold it like there and look at it and make sure that it's five. And if it's more, you wanna make sure that you record that. So you'll be done with this step when you have four holes, one in each quadrant, and the diameter of each of the holes.